socioeconomic rights and accountability project, SERAP, has called on the federal government to drop the proposed cuts in the budgetary allocations to health and basic education or be ready to face litigation. The group described as illegal the proposal by the federal government to cut 26.51 billion naira from basic health care budget and 50.76 billion naira from budgetary allocation to basic education. SERAP demands a reversal of the planned budgetary court within 14 days, threatening to sue President Mohamed Buhari and the National Assembly if this demand is ignored. In a letter by his Deputy Director, Kolawale Oluadari, SERAP argued that there were a lot of other items in the budget whose allocations the government could slash instead of cutting budgetary allocations to education and health, which will have a direct negative impact on the poor masses. To discuss this with us is Executive Director Serap Adetokumbo Mumuni. Thank you, Mr. Adetokumbo, for joining us. It's a pleasure being with you. Good morning. Good morning. Why is this move necessary during the spirit of COVID-19? And before now, you have consistently dragged the federal government to court. Have you been pleased so far with results, if any? Let, let us say straight away that uh, we have it is true that we have an emergency on our hands. It is true that the lives of Nigerians have to be protected. Have to be protected. But if there, are, if there are to be caught in budget estimate, it should not be in the area of health and education, which concerns the average Nigerian. So the budget is a massive, massive program. There are areas that can be pulled down if the government is really serious about trying to balance the budget in view of the health emergency that we have. So now, focus on education and health as a way of balancing the budget to reduce spending on education and health is not to us a move in the right direction. When the budget on education and health is reduced as proposed by the federal government, the, 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 the people who bear the brunt of it are the people that are terribly already affected in terms of their access to health and education. We believe that this is not proper. In a government that says we are interested in the welfare and well-being of the people. Now, now, Doctor, um, um, sorry, Mr. Adetokubo, should the government not yield to your demand, apart from suing as you have threatened, what other measures can be applied to get answers that work? Now, we would certify Nigerians, let them know that what the government wants to do directly affects their life and well-being. A body of people that are not able to access education and health is a body of people that are already consigned almost to the government of history. This is not good in a democracy. This is not good in a, for a government that says we are interested in the well being and welfare of the people. Now, Mr. Adetunga, I hear you when you say that, but this is not the first time Sarah will be dragging the federal government to court on issues that affect the welfare of the entire Nigerians. What, what difference do you think this is going to make, given the times we're in right now? Now? Yes, we, are you there? Like, like, we, like we normally do in Sarah. Now, call on people to will classes uh, and budget. What we know how to do is to use the institution already created by the constitution to bring the government to account. And that is why 
we will use the machinery of the court to, 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 to fight this battle. Because that is the only way to go in a democracy. And that is what the concern has provided. Where there is a dispute between the government and the, and, and, and the people, the only way to resolve it legally is to resort to court. And we believe with all sincerity that the government, when we succeed in court, the government will be bound to obey the constitution. So in your, in your opinion, Mr. Detokumbo, let, let's look at alternatives and other ways we can get the government to look into achieving the same goals you want them to do, to focus on. What, what other areas and ways would you suggest? Now, we intend to mobilize Nigerians to see that what the government intends to do by trying to cut and lower the budget spend on education and health is not in their interest, is not in the interest of Nigerians. That is part of what we use. We, we will use advocacy. We will use enlightenment of the Nigerian population to achieve the same purpose. It is when all the purpose fail that we will now embark on the situation. Mr. Detokumo Mumuni, thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. It's always a pleasure speaking with you.